hi again so this is another video where i'm going to continue teaching you how to trace the voltage in the motherboard so this video will be a very important video because i'm going to teach you how to trace and track the voltage step by step especially 19 voltage 3.3 volt always 5 volt always etc so the schematic is for hp tv7 but if you understand how to trace the voltage in just one schematic you can understand any other schematic and of course you can repair easily any failed motherboard so let's get started by the way please don't forget to like the video share and likes because your likes motivate me to create more and more video for you thank you very much so as you can see here this is basically the charge ic circuit where we have the charge circuit as you can see over here and over here as you can see this is the input voltage here we have the power jack this is two switches as you can see of course let's first know about the component that we have here in the circuit after that i'm going to show you step by step how to trace the voltage so here as i told you before this is the power jack over here we have over here two switches okay we called this mosfet switches because here here we we have 19 volt and also here we will get 19 volt also here we will get 19 volt and also here we will get 19 volt okay so this is the charge ic circuit here we have inductor this is a current sense resistor as you can see over here and here we have two mosfets or voltage regulator okay we have inductor and we have capacitors and of course we have a current sense resistor so basically this two MOSFET wind inductor here has as a purpose to generate the charge voltage in order to charge the battery okay so now let's get started and trace the voltage so here as you can see we have 19 volt okay this is the power jack so 19 volt will go directly in this direction here we have drain source and gate so this switch or MOSFET once it is activated or controlled in its gate of course by this ic it will let 19 volt to pass to other side here we will get also we will get here 19 volt okay and then here also we will get 19 volt and also this as you can see mosfet will be controlled here we receive the control signal here and we will get of course here 19 volts so here we have 19 volt in the power jack here also we will get 19 volt and also here we have 19 volt as you can see here also we will get 19 volt because this is just a switch and of course here also we will get 19 volt okay so we have 19 volt here in the power jack and then 19 volt will pass once the switch is received the control signal to this side and then of course the switch will receive also the control signal and we will get here 19 volt as you can see so here we have the current sense resistor this current sense resistor will check whether here we have an enough current or not okay so the 19 volt will continue in this direction as you can see until we get here the charge b plus so here we have index as you can see so here we have the current sense resistor it will sense and verify whether this 19 volt has the enough voltage or not and here we have induction so basically if the voltage doesn't have an enough current we have here the inductor that will increase the current okay and here we will get charge b plus that equal to 19 volt over here so 19 volt we will get here 19 volts okay so this 19 volt as you can see we have here charge b plus will go directly in this direction so so this 19 volt as you can see will go directly to this point as you can see here we have charge b plus that equal to 19 volt 
we will get here also 19 volt okay so this 19 volt will be present in the drain of this MOSFET of course here the purpose of the voltage that we will get here is in order to charge the battery as you can see we have battery okay so here we have 19 volts okay uh, by the way here we have charge b plus and here of course we have here b plus this b plus is the voltage that will be distributed to all circuit of the motherboard okay this b plus also equal to 19 volt okay so we will get here b plus the voltage that will be distributed to the whole motherboard and we will get also here charge b plus the 19 volt that will be applied to this mosfet okay so here we will get 19 volt okay so let's write over here 19 volt so we have 19 volt okay so once this MOSFET is received the control signal. Here we have the drive high, as you can see. Once this MOSFET received the control signal and also this MOSFET, the voltage will pass from the drain to source in this direction. And here we will get the charge voltage, the enough voltage that will charge the battery. Okay, basically, the voltage here could be 8 volts. 6 volt etc okay so the voltage will pass directly through this inductor in order to increase the current and then through this current sense resistor in order to sense the current to verify whether the current is enough or not and then we will get here but the voltage that will charge the battery okay so this is it for this circuit so this IC is the charge IC, the control IC that helps us to manage and to control all this operation. Of course, I want, I want to add that. If you want, for example, to download the data sheet of this IC. So let me zoom a little bit. So the reference for this IC, as you can see here, is BQ24740. So I'm going to show you how to download the data shift of this IC easily. So let's pick just the reference. Here we have BQ24740. We can just go to Google. So we can just write here BQ24740. Okay, data sheet and press enter. So here, let's pick the first result. As you can see, we have BQ24740 data sheet. Okay, so let's choose this first result. Let's hit the first result. So here we go. We have here the data sheet, as you can see. We have here BQ24740. We have the PDA file. So by the way, this website, this is a very important website. So I use frequently this website if I want any data sheet of any circuit. You can just take the reference of the circuit and paste it in Google and then look for the website or just paste it and look for for data sheet of the component or just you can paste it here in the search box and press search. So as you can see here, we get the data sheet. We have here BQ. 24740 and we have the PDF file here we have 29p means 29 pages okay so here we have a host controlled multi chemistry battery charger do you see battery charger with low input power detect okay so the charge I see or battery charger I see so just let's let's click here over the PDA file in order to download the PDA file. So then here we have download. Let's click again over the part number. Here we go. We have the PDA file as you can see here. You can go directly to this icon if you want to download it to your desktop. Okay, as you can see here, we have one of 29 pages. So let's just click this icon in order to download it to our desktop directly so here we have a security code we can just enter the security code so let's enter six three six five six and click download so here as you can see the file is downloaded okay 
we have done the file now is downloaded so let's click over the file so as you can see guys we have the file we have dq 24 740 we have 29 pages you can search here and check the data sheet you can find here all details of this ic as you can see we have the pinouts okay as you can see and as you can see here we have the thermal functions or characteristic this is a very important table where we have each pin as you can see here and the description of each pin as you can see for example ecn ecp all these pins we have here description for example ec detect adapter detected voltage as you can see okay so you can read in details all about this IC. You can find also the, the functional block diagram, the conditions to, about thermal, about thermal conditions, voltage conditions, etc. As you can see. So you can do the same for all components. You need just part number of any component and paste it in the website and just type search and you will download the file so let's go back to our schematic as you can see here so now let's go to the next page where we have another circuit so basically here we have another circuit where we have as you can see here plus 5 volt and plus 3 volts always so this is two main voltage in every motherboard because here we call this voltages always because always these voltages are exist in the motherboard without pressing the power button you should find these voltages without these voltages other voltages cannot be generated that's why this is a very important voltage so let's study a little bit the circuit let's study first its component and then we're gonna trace the voltage so here we have as you can see the 3 volt 5 volt control IC here we have two MOSFETs for this channel so this here we have plus 3.3 volt channel here and plus 5 volt channel here so each channel contain what contain two MOSFETs as you can see inductor okay and electrolytic capacitor the same here we have two MOSFET we have inductor and electrolytic capacitor and of course we need for each channel an input voltage as you can see here we have b plus and here we have b plus equal to 19 volts okay so now we have here in order to generate this voltage we need first an input voltage that is equal to 19 volt so this voltage here equal to 19 volt so let's write over here 19 volt okay so here we have 19 volt so this 19 volt will pass through this inductor okay and then through these two ceramic capacitors in order to eliminate the noise this is a filtering capacitor and then 19 volt will go directly to the drain here of this MOSFET okay or voltage regulator so once this MOSFET receive the control signal okay from this IC as you can see drive high it will let 3.3 volt to be passed here okay because this is voltage regulator so here we have 19 volts okay 19 volts over here and of course here we will get 3.3 volt 3.3 volt not 19 volt we will get here 3.3 volt okay because this is a voltage regulator this ic control the amount of voltage that will be generated by by this ic for example let's assume that we get here 4 volt not 3.3 volt so this ic will eliminate the extra voltage as you can see that's why this mosfet is connected to the ground as you can see so once we will get here 3.3 volt it will pass through this inductor in, in order to increase the current and then this capacitor as you can see electro electrolytic capacitor will filter the current in order to get a pure current and a continuous current as you can see so its capacity is 150 microfarad 6.3 volts okay 
of course we have 6.3 volt the voltage of capacitor should always be greater than the voltage that we will get here the same here for the 5 volt always we have the input voltage it will pass directly through these capacitors in order to filter and to remove the noise and then through this capacitor here we will get 19 volts once this capacitor is controlled by this IC once this MOSFET I mean MOSFET receive to control signals the voltage will pass directly here here we will get 5 volt not 19 volt then 5 volt will pass through this inductor so the voltage or the current will be increased and will be filtered by this capacitor and we will get plus 5 volt so thank you very much guys this is another video where i show you and i teach you how to trace the voltage of course this schematic is for hpdv7 so the same working principle for all schematics i advise you to repeat this video two times or three times or even five times in order to master how to trace the schematic because if you understand the schematic you can easily repair any motherboard in a real time okay so thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video